Jesus, 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 Where your spirit is, one minute you're up, one minute you're down. And the Lord want to lift up your spirit this morning. The Lord is saying right where you are, my daughter, just close your eyes. Right where you are, I'm going to lift up your spirit. I'm going to take up your spirit into a high place this morning. I'm going to draw you out. I'm going to draw you out. You see him lifting. He's lifting up his spirit as one as he's done. The spirit of God is lifting out your spirit from that place. The Lord is saying, Each time you fall down, I lift you up, said the Lord. I kept you up. And even right now, even right now, there's an anointing. Close your eyes. There's an anointing going to flow through your life. Right now. There's an anointing flowing through your life right now. Flowing through your life. Flowing through your life. Moving through your body. A strong, strong anointing. A very powerful anointing. And the word of God said anointing destroy yokes and remove burden. Lord, break it, Lord. Lord, break it, Lord. Lord, break, Lord. Lord, break that curse, Lord. Lord, destroy it, Lord. Father, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. The Lord is telling me, no longer when you hold on to the whole things. Because right now, Right now, I am breaking the old things out of your hands. I'm loosening your hands. I'm loosening your hands. I'm loosening your hands. The Lord has said, shake it out your hands. Shake it out. Do not go back to the old. Do not go back to the old. Do not go back to the old. For this morning, my daughter, I renew, I refresh your spirit, said the Lord. I bring change in your life. I bring restoration in your life. I send a fire to the chest area, destroying, destroying. The plant of the enemy. Say the Lord, lift your hands high. Lift your hands high. Lift your hands high. Look up. Look up to Jesus. Look up to Jesus. Father, Lord, flow fresh upon him. Lord, flow fresh upon him. Lord, remove him. Lord, all the obstacles. Lord, from in her, Lord, and around her, Lord, all, Lord, I command it, Lord, to be broken. In Jesus, in Jesus, in Jesus, I speak long life, long life, I speak long life over you, long life, I cause you to take a deep breath. In me, said the Lord, you bring me in this morning. Just said the Lord. Sorry. I was praying for you. What did you experience? Just 
praise the Lord. Oh, look at Jesus a big clap. Come on. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Ha. Sister Lisa, come. Come fast. Sister Rabbi. Sister Lisa, she come. Sister Rabbi. Who like it? Ha, ha, ha. Sister Lisa, I've seen a long road. Look at that. Look at that. I've seen a long road before. But I've seen angels in that road. And they are calling you. They are calling you. They want you to walk in that road. They want you to walk in that road. And a lot of times that road, that long road, it becomes frustrating. Yeah. But it does not deny the fact that the angels is calling you. But God is saying today, my daughter, I'm going to anoint your feet. You feel that happening? Huh? Yeah. Because I know what I'm, the Lord is showing me, I'm not mad, right? The Lord is saying, I'm calling you. Hmm. I see you're traveling in that road. I see you're traveling in that road. <laughs> and I'm prophesying, I'm prophesying. I'm seeing you traveling in that road. And as you travel in that road, daughter, a lot of frustration is dropping out. A lot of deception of the enemy dropping out. God is destroying it. God is destroying it. You're traveling in that road. And as you look ahead, it begins to, it begins to get more interested. And you see, you see in that place, and you say in your spirit, Lord, I will run to you this morning. Lord, I will run to you. Hmm. Wow. I see it's starting to run. It's starting to run. It's starting to run. It's starting to run. Forgetting what is behind. Forgetting what is behind. And you're running. You're running. You're running. You're running. I've seen some old thing from the back of here going up to the back. I'm seeing her dropping out. Lord, I she run to you. Lord, purity. Lord, purity. Lord, is coming. Lord, that life. That is what you are showing me, Lord. Purity is coming to your life right now. Right now, right now, right now. I see your hands, your hands shaking. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Lord, break. Lord, the curse. Lord, the pull her back. Lord, I break it in Jesus' name. Lord, I take the soul of the Spirit. And I got them free. Wow. As though you're flying now. You're flying. And you're just going into that place. A lot of freedom. A lot of freedom. A lot of freedom. 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 Starting from your abdomen. Freedom. Freedom, big virtue, big virtue. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Shout praise the Lord. Shout Jesus. Lord, I love you. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord is great and his mercy enduring forever. Hallelujah. Sister Arisa. Yeah. You ready? <sighs> Sister Arisa. Sometimes in your life, you just feel things weigh, you know. The body becomes so much, you kind of weigh, you know. You kind of weigh, you know. But you always push to go forward. You always push to go forward. But the Lord is saying, Draws things that way, you know. He said that they will be there. It, it will be there no more. The Lord is saying, I'm going to send my power to destroy it from your life. To destroy it from your life. You will feel the lower part of your abdomen. You feel 
to see them breaking up. I'm not seeing them lifting up. I'm seeing them crushing. They're just breaking up. That foundation, God is saying, do not be on stem. Do not see. I'm crushing it right now. I'm going to put a new foundation. A new foundation that is not built by man. But it's built by God. Jesus, the Savior, Lord. Wow, wow. Let's go, let's go, Steve. Yeah. Somebody just wave your hands and glorify you. Come on. Yes, I'm 
day in your life this morning. I'm saying there's a lonely area in your life. And you know what I'm saying this morning? He would fill that area, that lonely area in your life. Wow. He's your friend. He's your lover. And the Lord is telling me this morning when he addressed that lonely area in your life, a lot of other things will be addressed. But he chose to address that place in your life. That place in your life this morning. Thank you, Lord. People, when we prophesy, listen. It's not like we have a book and everybody goes through the same problem. Everybody is the same situation. No. Everybody differently. If you see somebody prophesying and it's one thing, one thing, they had to check out as if they program them like a computer. Hear what? We gotta be in tune with Jesus Christ, people. We gotta be in tune with Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Sister Jones, come to say. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Sister Jones, hallelujah. Turn around. I said, I turn around this coming. Turn around. No, no, no. I turn around this coming. That's okay. That's okay. Make a turn. Make a turn and come back. Right? Stop. That's a prophetic move you make. The Lord is showing me a turn around this coming in His Spirit. In your life. In your family life. But the Lord is telling me they're going to happen faster than you think. Because while you're standing here this morning, lifting your hands before God, not before man, God is telling me that is, it is taking place. Even though you may not see it, you may not hear it, it's happening. Because you wonder and you think. But God is saying, it's happening. But as you endure day by day, and as you pray, God is working in your behalf. Close your eyes. see God anointing your feet. And I want to remember before anything manifest, in the physical, the manifestation, the physical, it has to come in the spirit first. So there's anointing on your feet right now. There's anointing on your body this morning. Raise your hands. Close your eyes. And it's running down. Somebody else. It's running down like fine oil. Like fire and oil. It's running down through your body. Receive every bit of it. Receive every bit of it. Every bit of it. Go ahead. Go ahead. I just want to share this before I start. When he was praying for um Sister Margaret, see that? I saw a stack of money. And I saw a pen in a pen holder next to it. And I saw you was there. That is what I saw. Money, a stack. In pie, like, you know, when you pack it up and it fill up, it was high. And a pen on a pen holder. What are pen? Well, plenty wealth. Plenty wealth. Thank God for that. 
try to fix it many a time, but it cannot fix it. And I will fix it, sir, Lord. Receive it down in your spirit. Receive it. Receive it. Father, cause our mind, Lord Jesus, to receive, Lord, what you are pouring out upon us this morning. Father, in Jesus' name. Spirit, and like she lay in that corner, in that dark corner, and it's like she sit down and she all alone. And you can see she sit down and it's like worrying, stress. But it's like she separates herself and she's spirit in this dark place. And she just say, But God wants you to come out from that place. God wants you, spirit, to arise and come out from that place. Come out, come out, come out, come out. God don't want her in that place. That place is not a happy place for her. It's not a good place for her. But God wants her. In arise. spite of her present position or situation, God is fixing. He's fixing it to the spirit. In spite of where your spirit is at, God is fixing it in your life. Yes. 
Some people say, I finished I finish the level. I don't like to talk to those kind of people who said, when I finish the level, he God really show you what you finish the level from. You run. Long as we live, we will be happy. We will have to get delivered. We'll be getting deliverance long as we live. Because why? We were born in sin and shaped in iniquity. So our very nature, the first birth, was sin. And when we give your life to Jesus, then the process starts. The process, one of the biggest ministry they would have in this world up to the end is deliverance ministry. That's why preachers, they can reach out high and then one thing that the devil will have in them. And when you see the preachers, they reach real high because the devil hold that one chain on them. And it may look like they reach all to the top, nearly reaching heaven, and he pull that and they come right down. The ministry could be out big, he could have, they could have what? So people deliver us. Prophetess, go ahead. Garden of peace. God is saying so. 